हेलो सर वी आर ग्रुप सिक्सटीन एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ आवर प्रेजेंटेशन इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डेटा इंटरचेंज दिस आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ आवर प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ई डी आई इट्स वर्किंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स ई डी आई मॉडल दैन बेनिफिट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डेटा इंटरचेंज इट्स डेट डिसएडवाटेजेस इट्स एप्लीकेशन इट वन ऑफ इट्स केस स्टडी कंक्लूजन एंड देन सम शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन इट एंड देन so what is electronic data interchange so electronic data interchange is uh, basically the electronic transmission of business information using a standardized format so it is a process which allows any company to send information to another company uh, digitally rather than paper works so nowadays many business documents can be exchanged using edi but the two most common are the purchase orders and invoices uh this is the workflow of how a electronic data interchange works so the data or the information that one company sends the other first gets prepared to be sent then the information or the document is translated into edi format with, with the help of an edi translator and then this document is connected and transmitted to the communication software where the connection is direct and point to point so this is the workflow in under the sending company there will be having data in internal format which will be translated by the edi translator into a uh, edi data and then it will be transmitted to the communication software for for their direct connection so now let us come to the components of electronic data interchange so there are four components of electronic data interchange first one is standard document format so it is a standard format uh, which is agreed upon by both parties and both parties communicate directly through a business application second one is the translator and the mapper a uh, translator or electronic data interchange translator is used to convert the raw data into meaningful information according to the specifications which are provided by the mapper so a mapper is used to create conversion specification third one is the communication software so a communication software is used to transmit the data and convert this this business documents into a standard format and the last one is communication network a communication network provides a direct link between trading partners who are willing to exchange business documents through electronic data interchange uh here we will see the main difference between the traditional pro traditional document process uh, exchange of a purchase order and the digitally edi document exchange of a pro process order so traditionally the in traditional process usually takes normally 3 to 5 days here the buyers make make a decision buying decision and then creates a purchase order and prints it buyer then mails that purchase order to the supplier supplier then receives that purchase order and he does that entry into his system and then the buyer calls the supplier to determine if that purchase order has been received or not but in but edi process is very fast as compared to this traditional process edi process usually take can occur overnight and it usually takes less than an hour so here also the buyer makes a decision uh, of whether he wants to order a purchase or not but here he does not print that purchase order the edi software creates a digital version of that purchase order and it transmits it automatically to the supplier the supplier's order entry system receives that purchase order and then it updates the system automatically and then the supplier's order entry system will create an acknowledgement and it will be transmitted to the buyer for it to confirm its receipt all uh, this is the workflow the first process the first process is the tra traditional process which requires which requires a lot of steps and also require consumes a lot of time and the second one is the edi process as i have discussed earlier that how in traditional process the buyer will generate the purchase order then it will mail that order to that supplier then supplier will print that invoice and will mail it to the buyer but in edi process it is a very simple process here the here the buyer's internal system will digitally uh, will digitally give the purchase order to the supplier's internal system and from there also the invoice will come digitally to that buyer thus saving us time now next edi model will be explained by my teammates thank you sir good evening sir shobtosh uh, this side i will discuss about uh, uh, an edi model so so the basic process of uh, edi based transaction is the same as the manual but the only difference that eti makes is that 
its transactions are done electronically and data packets are formatted according to the standards of the EDI. Next slide please. So uh, in an EDI model, firstly the sender must generate the application file using its business application system. This file contains the process documents. The document sent by the sender has to be translated into an agreed EDI standard format. The process of translating EDI documents into EDI standard format is called mapping. The translation software uses this mapping to translate the transaction of EDI so that, if, uh, so that it can easily understand why the receiving organization. The document file is sent electronically either through a value-added network using EDI software, a web-based EDI tool or outsourcing with an EDI service provider. The trading partner receives the file. The receiver translates the file from the EDI standard format to a file usable by their business application software. An acknowledgement document is also generated to the organization originating organization in this slide we can see uh, the various EDI uh, documents which are invoices purchase orders financial information letters transactions bills shipping request and notification acknowledgement and feedback transcriptions claims and business correspondence letters and some EDI users which are central and state government agencies industry banking retailing manufacturing insurance healthcare automotive electronics grocery and transportation next slide please there are some benefits of edi which are basically edi generates cost savings having the appropriate edi data interchange solution in place can allow companies of any size to execute workflows and process that can significantly reduce cost edi increases speed another inherent benefit associated with EDI for a data interchange is a dramatic increase in speed to the procurement cycle. The next one is EDI allows for order accuracy. One of the biggest downfalls of manual processing for data interchange is error prone data entry. Inaccurate data cost companies time and uh, money in addition to possible delayed or lost orders. The next one is EDI increase efficiency. The combination of EDI benefits such as speed and data accuracy resulting in greater business efficiency where companies can uh, streamline their day-to-day -day process, simplify operations and not have to worry about error-prone data. The next one is EDI ensures information security. One of the biggest concerns with technology is the, uh, is the security of information. Fortunately for companies, having the right EDI solutions provides the data security. And the last one is EDI enhances strategic decision making. With the right EDI solutions in place, companies can shift focus from a daily task that can be automated and improved to make more strategic decisions that will directly correlate to business growth and expansion. The next slide will be discussed by my fellow team members. Good evening, sir. Uh, I'm going to discuss about the disadvantages and applications of EDI. So here in this slide, disadvantage of EDI. So there are many disadvantages like it has, it is very time consuming to initial set up the EDI and it's a very systematic and proper backup is required. And also the setup and maintenance of EDI is very expensive. Uh, EDI standards keep on changing. So this is also an issue for EDI, using EDI. Next slide please. So there are many sectors in which we can use EDI like retailer sector, manufacturing sector, automobile sector and financial sector and many more. So we will discuss about it like in this retailer sector like retailer have to, retailer depends upon the efficient inventory management and EDI provides a structured way to maintain and replenish goods stored at a retail outlet. So here in this diagram like in the retailer stock like it will go to the point of sale terminal and then it will send to send a stock notice to SCM network via the EDI and then a purchase request is made to the supplier and then again the product delivery notice will be delivered to the retailer and uh, through EDI. Next slide please. And in manufacturing sector. 
ETI ensures effective and efficient management of materials required for production of a commodity and also this helps the supplier to plan and schedule supply according to the according to the requirements of the manufacturer so in this like you can see in the uh, diagram that OEM the inventory request goes to the supplier and the ASN which is advanced shipping notice goes to manufacturer and so on the inventory update goes to production plan next slide please next slide what yeah EDI has also used in automobile and financial sector like in automobile sector EDI is used to keep customers updated with the current product and pricing information and also EDI speed up the payment process these are these are the main process applications of EDI and in financial sector again it has very useful like EDI replaces the labor intensive activities of collect, collecting processing and dispersing payments and uh, and like a pays bank account is electronically credited and payers account is electronically credited on the scheduled day of the payment such an exchange uh, is known as electronic fund transfer so in this uh, by this EDI makes these sectors uh, very easy to maintain next slide please yeah, Sarthak will uh, explain yeah, thank you sir thank you so I am going to discuss an EDI case study it is about two total tools so it is a organization in Australia that has been serving from more than 30 years they stock the widest range of the world's biggest professional tool brand ensuring you will find what is needed to get the job done uh, so the challenge <coughs> with over 80 stores across Australia stocking multiple products from over 30, 380 leading brands total tools were faced with a tremendous administrative process the volume of paper placed a costly burden on both total to support office and their suppliers with staff manually so these were the challenges so the raising purchase orders and sending these to suppliers suppliers sending back purchase orders acknowledgement total tools either accepting the response or raising a purchase order chain suppliers then have to send total tools and invoice the delivery slip and any manual keying error cause significant delays in both delivery and payment next slide please so this was the EDI process uh, flow uh, without EDI uh, order processing without EDI so the first buyer generates purchase order then he sends it to supplier and then supplier receives order and it in and he enters into his system after that invoice is created which is sent to buyer and buyer enters invoice into their system after EDI it becomes very simple as we can see here in the diagram so the buyers internal <coughs> buyers send it to the uh, EDI and it directly send it to the supplier so the results uh, we can see the results here prior to implementing EDI total tools struggled with manual processing burden had limited ability to accurately report high overheads and inaccuracy of managing documentation uh, uh, second was uh, re reduced administrative cost to automation and reduction in manual processes it also helps in cost saving it improves timeline there are very few administrative processes it enhances the quality of data and uh, so on so next slide please so this is the conclusion and uh, we can see EDI is well established uh, ex effective technology got uh, it reduced the cost and increased efficiency and uh, in the past technologies have been mutually exclusive exclusive but this is rapidly changing as the two technological communities begin to merge and the business community see the advantage of them this merger EDI and the internet will eventually become a bookish EDI users are EDI users are already <coughs> seeing dramatic cost saving by moving their traffic from <coughs> traditional van service to the internet as ETI working groups within the internet engineering task force create interoperability standards for the use of ETI over the internet and as security issues are addressed ETI over the internet will be part of normal business next slide please so these are some short MCQs on ETI so 
electronic data interchange stands for uh, standards are essential for B2B e-commerce. Uh, electronic data interchange requires representation of common business documents in com computer readable forms. And next please. So these are the reference for our PPT. Very good presentation. Thank you. Thank you.